Can I double down and have another terrific month plowing through a whole bunch of books? To be determined, May is coming up. Here's my plan. Welcome to Fantasy for the Ages, the show where a father and son talk about fantasy, science fiction, and other nerdy things we enjoy. All over this channel, you will find episodes with Zach and I, and sometimes just me, once in a while, just my son Zach, talking about all sorts of books, media, and things that we enjoy. If you like what you find, well, you should stick around, subscribe to our channel. And if you enjoyed this episode, hit the like button down below and Leave some comments down in the comment box. Today, I'm laying out for you my May reading plan. I've got a bunch of books I'm hoping to get through. I do not know how many I'll make it through, but I'll tell you what, I'm being less ambitious this month. I've seen the writing on the wall, the books I'm reading. Too many of them are huge, massive chunkers of books. It's just going to take me a while, but who cares when the books that I'm reading are so incredible? So let's talk about the books I'm reading. First off, I hope to finish Toll the Hounds, book eight of Malazan Book of the Fallen by Steven Erickson. It will probably take me all month. If I do finish it, I'll move on to my next Kindle read, which will be a self-published book that's been waiting for a few months now. Moon Cops on the Moon by C.T. Phipps. What I see of that book looks very entertaining. I think I'll like it. I just have to get to it. But dang, Malazan, <laughs> I'm about 25% through. I got three quarters of the book to go. It's really entertaining reading this, but you can't go real fast or your brain starts to melt. In audible, audio format, I'm working through book two of the Poppy War by R.F. Kuang and that would be The Dragon Republic. I do expect I'll finish this. I'm a little over halfway already as May begins. So then, of course, I'll move on to book three, The Burning God. Now, these, again, are really long books, but I think I'll be able to get through them. I've got a little, little driving coming up for work. That always helps me have some extra time for listening to audiobooks. So assuming I do get through The Burning God as well here in May, I'll move on to my next audio read that I have planned. And here, one of the best received, highest rated books of 2023. The Ferryman by Justin Cronin. That one's a little outside my typ typical profile. Maybe a bit more highbrow than I'm used to. But it looks good. It's a one-shot book. I'm willing to give it a try. Searching for Zen is my physical book that I'm currently reading as I moved into May here. I shouldn't take too much longer to finish it. It's not that long a book, and it moves pretty fast. Great pacing in this story. So once I finish it, well, I've got a number of other self-published physical books that have been gifted to me to read, hoping I will review them, and assuming I at least kind of like them, I certainly will review. I'm hoping, of course, to do more than kind of like them. Next up is a book I'm pretty confident about, down Below Beyond by T.A. Bruno. This looks great. I'm really intrigued. It's kind of pushing me to finish searching for Zen faster. Not that I don't like searching for Zen, but I want to get to Down Below Beyond. After that, if it is still May, I'll move to Leslie Shu's Kamasagi series. Now, I received four books from the author here. Book one, Destin, is waiting, and I should start that before the end of the month. If I like it, I'll move into the other three. I didn't ask for all four, but thank you for sending me all four. I do believe I'm going to enjoy them. And once I find a book that I'm hooked on, I'm more than happy to move through an entire series. I'm a completionist. Maybe you knew that about me. Best case scenario, I see myself reading eight to nine books here in May. But one never knows. I might plow through more. I look forward to discovering what happens with such great literature in front of me, having so many books waiting for me. What a great problem. There you go. Thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comment box and look in the show notes for other ways you can interact with Zach and I, including an invitation to our Discord server. Come chat with us and many other literature friends.
Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you next time.